What up people, Bernie back with another video. And in today's video, we're going to go over Dexter, Season 6, Episode 4, titled, A Horse of a Different Color. The episode begins with Dexter and Brother Sam having a conversation. Come out a new man. If only I believed it were that simple. Can you say hi? <laughs> Guess not. <laughs> it's all right. <laughs> Did you see Nick? He wanted to thank you for coming by. Yeah, he can thank me tomorrow at the shop. Another accident? <laughs> Bad driving karma. Somebody trying to say you need to slow down, bro. <laughs> the spiritual stuff, the second chances, I think it's great for Nick. But not for you, huh? All right. <laughs> Probably sound like bullshit to you. That's one word for it. <laughs> you think you make the sun come up in the morning? You think you make the tide come in? No, but that's the earth rotating on its axis. You do believe in something greater than yourself. <laughs> you tricked me. You tricked me. Harrison, get the car. Yeah, somebody got to do the driving with him. <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. He's chilling. Looking like Rita. Long hair. The next scene is Dexter at the crime scene where the jogger's body ended up. sick fucks out body parts to mannequins and then strap them to horses. I mean, what the fuck? Spectacle makes me think of Brian, my brother. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking mm -hmm. that too. Me too. Yup, even she's okay, thinking it. Me too. Oh, it's the same insignia that was carved into the stomach of a snake's victim. I'm calling around the local stables. There's one about a mile north from here. Reported four horses missing two days ago. Quinn? Be here now. I've been counting the body parts and typing the blood. I think we're looking at one victim here. Jesus. He's saying it's the end of the world. And who are you? Oh, I'm sorry. This is Mike Anderson from Chicago. He's my replacement. The killer's showing us a scene from the Book of Revelation. A killer with faith? <laughs> He's right, though. Yeah, it's, here. Yeah, it's Miami. Genius. I knew he would love this. What is this? While examining the jogger's body, Dexter makes a discovery. The suit would confirm that the body parts all belong to the same victim. It's a perfect match. Same signature, same kill wound. Jeez. Poor dude. What do we have here? Ah! Uh, Better know snakes come out or something. Okay. One, two, four, two. Some kind of message. Wanna bet he left one of the snake's victim too? His intestines. Dexter does this like nothing. Yeah, he smiles. He loves it. Uh huh. Jackpot. What do you think it means? There's already some game playing sick as fuck serial killer for me to catch. Technically, he's not a serial killer. He's like, I'm a serial killer. I know the definition for him. <laughs> Let me correct you on that, Get it right. Maria gets a quick reminder that she's no longer the press conference queen. You want to see me? Yeah, there's four horsemen kids. It's all over the news. I called the conference for this afternoon, and I'm working the statement. Well, Morgan's going to make the statement. I've led hundreds of press conferences, and she real under the circumstances. Too, Morgan is the new face of this department, Maria. I'm still the old face. No, set it up for tomorrow afternoon. <laughs> Ew, Maria's annoying. Deb gets some harsh advice from the new guy, Mike. I made a strategic decision to put you in the spotlight. You'll get the public the impression that the situation is most critical. You still haven't finished your fit for duty therapy. You're a liability until you get cleared. Mm, let me guess. Another hookup. Big surprise. You okay? Every season Just, she's with a different dude. Oh, she can't yeah, be like, yeah, I don't like that, that they portray her that way. Yeah, I know Tell me. You just might want to dress a little more professional. I mean, you kind of look like you're... What? A detective? You know, like you're going to hoedown. <laughs> the intern is acting very suspect. You know, showing me 
Christ, regular stuff was so cool. You could show me the Trinity stuff or the Bay Harbor Butcher uh, evidence. Yeah, <gasps> the FBI has all those files, yeah, what but is um, I promise to make it up to you later. He's a little too into the Bay Harbor. Now open the Emmys report. That's killer. Don't even know what it stupid, says. Stupid, uh, Masuka. Hope she's not connected to any of that shit. Deb and the others discuss steps on catching the Doomsday Killer. So far, our killer has given us three tableaus. I'm sorry, uh, tableaus? It's a theatrical term referring to a picturesque grouping of people or objects. All this time, I just thought they were called crime scenes. No, the crime <laughs> crime scenes. Everything he's Quinn. showing us has... He's communicating with us. Mike's just helping with the translation. Four horsemen of the apocalypse are described in Revelations. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a serpent rise out of the sea. They said that. Yep, they said that. And what about the intestines? If I can get in touch with the revelation expert, who might be able to tell That's us more. That's crack that shit. They happened five days apart. Two murders, they happened five days apart. The difference between 1237 and 1242 is five. Let's find this doomsday killer. What's his name? Doomsday killer. Trinity killer, Bay Harbor Butcher, Ice Truck killer, now we got doomsday. While out to eat with Professor Geller, Travis notices a woman. Look around us. People are afraid. This motherfucker. He's so paranoid. Sure. Are you listening to me? Yes. No, oh, he was checking out that. They're afraid. Don't kill her because he likes her. Deb takes Mike's advice and tries a new look. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Oh, Be honest. There you go. Yes. Professional. She don't look much like you. <laughs> you don't look much like you. <laughs> you don't tell me how I'm Shut up, Jack. Little Harrison isn't feeling well. Did he eat something when he was at the beach? I guess there are some things even daddies can't fix. Dexter talks to brother Sam about the doomsday killer. We're tracking this killer. We think he's reenacting scenes from the book of Revelation. Lord have mercy. Saying it's in the name of God, the devil is busy. The devil is busy. <laughs> <laughs> so I just heard it put that God way. An excuse for the a lot of things. Busy. Just because he believes in something, that don't mean his faith is any less real. I mean, haven't you ever had a, a, a problem so big that you just couldn't handle it on your own? Yeah. Well, who helped you? My dad. Faith, and you put it in the wrong things. Debs is colorful with her words as ever while heading to the office. So does that intend a mortgage? Look at that mortgage! <laughs> I recognize about the man boots. You'll recognize my foot when it's kicking you in the face. The Who? 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 Maria gives Debs some advice on how to handle the press conference. You want some honest advice? Oh, no. You're not a formal person, so a formal statement could come off as insincere. She wants you to fail. Don't listen to her. Be myself. Exactly. Yeah, she's trying to trick her. Nice shoes, by the way. I look better on. They hurt my feet. Oh, what else you could use? Oh, jeez. She don't mean it. That was not her. Nice. See you later. <laughs> Dexter figures out that there are two doomsday killers, not one. He butchered his body. But that doesn't make any sense. Unless it's not the same killer. You think one person cut up the body? Maybe we're not looking for one doomsday killer. Mm -hmm. Maybe we're looking for two. As they close up on him. Masuka's little pervy heart gets broken in this episode. Look at Masuka. He's just in love with her body. <laughs> this is, this is <laughs> Masuka. He's tricking him. I've been messing around like five people, so I'm hoping you can help me. There's a prosthetic hand for auction on buythistreasure.com. Says it's from the ice truck killer investigation. <sighs> What? Shit. That's gonna no. tell Bye. him. That's gonna tell him that she took it. She wants to sell it? Yeah. Only people with access to our evidence from our police employees and interns. Four girl 185. Fuck me. So mm -hmm. I should on my shit list now. No, definitely not. Ryan. Oh! I'm gonna say he's gonna have to buy it just to get it. <gasps> no. You stole the hand from the ice truck killer evidence. You said it was just going to sit there. The chain of custody is sacred. I was short on rent and I needed the money. Are so you I crazy? I, I could lose my job over this. Mm -hmm. No one has to know. Just oh, don't touch me. You. I'm such an idiot. I'm thinking you were actually into me. I was. No, you weren't. Masuka, don't Get be out. dumb, Masuka. We're done. Good. Mm -hmm. She was your 
last fucking day. Because you need money for your fucking rent. Let's dump it. Deb's first press conference doesn't go that well. My detectives are interviewing several suspects, but uh, we won't release a name until a suspect is officially charged. Come on, Deb, don't go into meltdown mode now. If you see something, say something. I'm not into politics and I don't care about press conferences. All I care about is catching the fucker that did this. <laughs> That'll be all. Is it me or does our captain look happy or lieutenant just ship it back? Yeah, she's it's happy. Not you. Trust me, you used to be married to her. Uh, does that look weird as a necklace? I seriously hate you right now. Hold on a second. <laughs> we got a huge scare in this episode regarding Harrison. I'll be right there. Harrison. Son's temperature is 104. His appendix is ruptured. What happens now? We'll do our best to His make sure he's okay. His appendix ruptured? Okay. I need you to sign that for He ate something at the beach, I think. Okay, right? Oh. That's your hurts. I know he's in pain. Hey, it's uh, Sam from Good Shepherd. Uh, your car is ready. So I'm at St. Peter's with my son. Oh, is everything okay? We just went into surgery. The next scene was our favorite, and it involves Angel and Quinn. Who's taking my car? You got the GPS. <laughs> just finish up your feet. That's what we can head back to the station. You're already on the way if you let me eat in the car. No way. You're not getting grease on Norma. On oh, Norma? What? This car is Norma. Yeah. Look at Quinn's hair. <laughs> what? Is this yours? Oh. Angel! Like, you have a like joint, Angel! Car. He's like, I don't give a fuck, let's cool. smoke it! Yeah, <laughs> you don't care! I'm going lemonade. I'm not surprised! <laughs> I don't smoke that shit. Give me that. <laughs> <laughs> That's too funny, look at them! Quit smiling! What else on this cover? Chicha Chong over here. Look at them, look at his face. Look at his face. Why are you rolling in my back? Where's that? Freaking out. Inside, I can feel how much your heart hurts. Oh, Jesus. Get your big fucking sausage hands off. Sausage hands! We got Jeremiah Allen's address. Jeremiah Allen? The guy, the dude, the, um, <laughs> the preacher. They're gonna show up high. Look at his eyes! You can't go! Awesome. Brother Sam reveals some dark shit to Dexter. Did you know that children who undergo anesthesia under the age of three are more likely to develop learning disabilities? <gasps> are you doing research? You should get off the internet. All I care about is catching the that did this. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Dab! Jesus. Why are you dabble stuff? Mm. Are you guys, like, friends now? Mm-hmm. I have the auto shot. Yeah. I'm gonna go to the cafeteria, see if anything's edible. <laughs> I used to not always be like this. <laughs> when I was growing up, my dad was a real popular guy. He said he was going to see a friend of his. So we get there, he says, uh, go on up there and ring that doorbell for me. So I do it. And this man comes to the door. My dad is standing right there behind me with a pistol in his hand. Shoots him in the face. Mm. Kill him. Damn. In front of him. Sure. He says, he did a good job. Yeah. He used him to throw the guy out. Yeah. That's fucked up. He used you. Mm -hmm. The next scene was shocking. Dexter does something so out of his character. Professor Geller shows just how much of a creep he really is. Oh god, this sick prick again. Ugh, this kid really doesn't like what he's been doing. You're going out with that woman, aren't you? Her name is Aaron. Accept the consequences God gives you. He's gonna fucking kill her. Ugh. Good night. 
<laughs> you can't have a social life. <laughs> He's gonna probably kill this poor chick. Mm -hmm. Yes, we were. We get some good news regarding Harrison. Oh, the waiting. Made it through with flying colors. Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh! <laughs> I mean, uh, thank you. <laughs> Poor Dexter. Thank God. <laughs> That's just an expression. <laughs> I can't prove that God exists. But you can't prove he doesn't. Right. <laughs> We also learned that Maria's little plan for Deb to fail at the press conference backfired. Deputy Chief. Everybody loves my new spark plug of a lieutenant. Ah! Mm -hmm. ah spark plug. plug. No bullshit. Right? Well, I was straight just trying to, to get the point. The you know, I, took a big I took a lot of crap from a lot of people. Today you've made me very, very proud. Mm. Your dad would have been proud too. Keep up the good fucking work. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's in a Everybody's talking like her. <laughs> Where's Maria? I want to see Maria salty. Yes. Bitch. Yeah, Quinn, Angel, and Mike are on to Professor Geller's evil ass. Look at Masuga. He's so mad. Which one of your characters rides a firebird? You park like a dick. <laughs> <laughs> there are. Got the munchies. <laughs> gonna go back to how she was. Jesus, Anderson, you have something to say? Say it. You should probably watch the language. We've been speaking to this preacher, Jeremiah Allen. Turns out he's obsessed with this revelation expert, James Geller. <laughs> professor. Here's kind of jacked up. From the University of Tallahassee. Yeah. <laughs> Quinn can't stand the new guy. Oh! It's all about end times. That's oh, him! Oh, shit. shit. He's good. Mm -hmm. I try to get in touch with him, but... Yeah, you, you can't get in touch with him. Because he went underground. Underground? Why? Ah, now look who's yeah. behind the curtain. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a competition, <laughs> Quinn. Y'all are all the same team. He's so threatened by the new guy. Looks like we just found our number one person of interest. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Good detectives. Travis wakes up to some evil shit. Oh, no. She's he dead. Took her. I'm telling you, I knew this was going to happen. How the fuck he sleep through it? The moment. How'd he sleep through it? He must have. Did you know this was gonna happen? No. What are you Please. doing? Let her go. <laughs> we. Harrison is doing better after surgery, and Harry's there as expected. Look at him, you look so like peaceful. Look at his eyes. Oh, Harry, I thought Harry was really there for a second. <laughs> The episode ends with kill number three. The Doomsday Killer is officially a serial killer now. It didn't get here on its own. So where did it come from? Check this out. She's already gone. She was just alive. What the hell is that? Dag. Oh! Yeah. Bitch! Look at Dexter not even face. What are those? Tell the po po, he's like, I'm gonna kill you, motherfucker. There, ew, these big fucking things. Cool. It's a pretty good episode. Not much happened. I wonder what Masuka's gonna do about the little yeah. sticky finger hoe. Oh, gosh. I'm glad he didn't like cave and say, okay. Like, I would have been pissed too. Told her to kick rocks. Like, yo, you cost my job for stealing. My thoughts. I enjoyed this episode. I felt it was good from beginning to end. I love the interactions between Dexter and Brother Sam. Dexter getting that huge scare with Harrison was intense and it was nice seeing that he stepped out of character for a minute and talked to God. Dexter's such a complicated character. I love seeing his growth from season to season. It was funny seeing Deb try a new look. 
I can tell she isn't going to keep that look for long, though. I'm also glad that Maria's little plan to make Deb look like shit at the press conference backfired. Masuka finding out about the intern I saw coming. I just wonder if he'll be able to get the evidence back. Angel and Quinn getting high was hilarious. Y'all see Angel in that face he was making? The ending was so messed up. They need to catch these motherfuckers quick. I will say this. I feel bad for Travis because he looks like he's so conflicted. So I wonder how his story is going to play out. Anyway, that's that for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, drop a comment down below, share my video, and if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Bye, guys.